Titan Zed here, back for another review. Going to be reviewing the, uh, well, Safeguard, Jetfire, and Jetstorm, as they're called, which are going to be premiering on uh, Transformers Animated soon. Uh, I'm not sure, because this Saturday we're doing the Transwarped movie. I did a Transform and roll out with the first season. So whether or not this is going to be like they're going to show up in this ep in that episode where they're breaking into three parts and that's the second episode where they're showing up, I think. Has Wasp to show up in the second episode? Or it's the episode after the movie? Not sure. All I know is this Saturday I'm going to be spending a lot of time up until I have a lot less sleep than I need for work. Um, anyway. Reviewing these guys. Very nice toys. Um, I definitely enjoy them. Uh... Oh, excuse me. Ooh, too much soda. Um, these are the uh, twin Transformers, which in the comic I read, it came with these two. Apparently, twins on Cybertron are like one in a billion chance. And, you know, they're twins. They originally were just driver, like every other Autobot. They couldn't fly. They were some kind of vehicle with wheels or something like that. Well, after a bit of an accident, because of these two fooling around, uh, they get volunteered to become, uh, hold on, the camera angle, become experimentation for combining some of the Decepticon code from Starscream and making the first Autobots that can actually fly, which is a pretty impressive thing. Uh, now, there's something I really want to show you before I continue, which I don't think I've seen this in any other review I've looked at. I think I've seen Sean Long's, uh, P. Alls, um, I don't think of who else, but I can't think of anybody else right now. Like, I don't think they've mentioned this. The cockpits actually open, and uh, luckily with Jetstorm, with the head, the way his head's positioned, it sort of looks like a seat right there, but their cockpit actually opens, which I've never seen anybody actually, uh, show this. And I don't know if uh, they just haven't tried, but I was uh, transforming him, and I picked him up by the wrong piece, and suddenly I'm going, oh, the cockpit opens. Whoops! Thought I broke you for a second, but no, the cockpits are actually on their own independent hinges. Right there, see, they're on their own hinges. Um, now these two do combine in vehicle mode to form a, a sandwiched jet, if you will. Um, And it's kind of, kind of a goofy mode, but if you position everything right, you get a fairly decent looking vehicle, kind of like a, a double v, double jet X-Wing. Don't think it's tragic. Now, there's something I want to tell you. You can see sort of two elite guard symbols right there. They're both facing up. I turn it on this side. One elite guard symbol is upside down. The other is upside right. Jetstorm's elite guard symbols on his sides for his robot mode were painted on. One's painted backwards or something. No, it's not painted right. So one side, they're both facing up. One side, they're facing the way they're supposed to when they're combined. I don't know if this was just my, an error on just mine or if it's an error on all the toys. But that's how they come out. That's how it's came out, came out on mine. Um, these guys are out. They're everywhere now. Uh, they're even at Kmart, which is surprising. Uh, turning that off for right now. Or change it to a different song, a better song. Um, yeah, I finally figured out a way to get my computer to run while I'm doing this without causing a weird sound in the background most times. Well, except for the music I'm playing now. <laughs> um, so I don't know about the label thing gonna transform them real quick um yeah they're gonna show up in transformers animated season uh three because their first mission is to hunt down wasp and bring him back to cybertron at the cyber stockades uh of course as they're trying to hunt him down he's probably gonna, he's gonna bump into black arachne and become the techno organic wasp leader who i do have which i'm probably gonna do a review and samurai and samurai proud uh too, as well, today, mostly. Um, this is Jetfire, in his transformed robot mode, 
very cool. Kind of like got a Fantastic Four Human Torch feel to him. Uh, I like the way he's designed. He's he's a pretty much all around deluxe size figure. If Hasbro was smart, since they pretty much cancel Transformers animated line, you know we're not going to see a Hydro Plan Little B or a, a RC toy or an electrostatic sound wave with a Rat Bat figure. They were smart. For kids who can't convince their parents to buy the big $20 thing to, to uh, package both of these separately and have them in, se in like separate deluxe size packages so kids can convince their parents to buy these. Now, um, yeah, uh, apparently um, Hasbro has officially canceled Transformers Animated now, or at least the uh, toy line. The show's still going. Um... So, we're not going to see a Hydro Plane, a Voyager class Hydro Plane Bumblebee or a Voyager or a Deluxe class RC toy. They, they're done with it. They're not going to put them out. The molds have been canceled. It's Honestly, I think it's a stupid idea. It's, it, we're still a good distance off from the movie line coming out. And I think it was a bad idea to cancel them now. Um, this is Jetstorm. This is uh, Robot Monami. Sorry. This is the... I think... Technically, with these color schemes, this is the only other Jetstorm out. If you guys remember, if any of the older fans remember, Jetstorm was a character off of uh, Beast Machines, who was uh, Silverbolt trapped in a Viacon body. Um, I'm gonna put him, transform, start transforming him into uh, their combined mode, Safeguard. Uh, it is well, they've designed quite a clever little engineering factor here with the toy. Uh, both, ro both, uh, you know, one of the legs performs the, the robot's, uh, arm, the safeguard's arms. Now, they've designed it so both feet, or both arms, or both legs, have a fist at the end for the, for the safeguard's arms. Only, but only one side actually becomes the arms. Um, now whether or not that means there might be some future stuff where they'll combine with a third vehicle of some kind. Or there was going to be a third vehicle they were going to combine to, but it got scrapped. Now it's been scrapped, thanks to Hasbro. So, um, still, all around, this is a cool figure to pick up. One of the last figures next to Samurai Prowl and Waspinator. What a shame. It really ended on that note. It's kind of, kind of disheartening, I um, but I I think that RC they were going to put out in the Hydro Plan Bumblebee would have done pretty well but they just decided no we're going to end the line I think that was a stupid idea in my opinion but um, this is Safeguard it's Jetfire and Jetstorm combined into their robot mode it's, got, it's still got kind of like the X motif from uh their X jet mode, their X combined jet mode. Um, pretty cool. Uh, Puzzleability's a little limited due to the transformation, but a little fiddling, you can get some. You can still get some good poses out of him with a little fiddling and a little time. You know, you just take your time. You'll find some. You can find some pretty good poses to put him in. Um, I've got no. I've got no real complaints. Big complaints about him, other than the, other than you know. The real reason I think they put those elite guard symbol on Jetstorm like that is so they line up perfectly in a uh, safeguard mode. But I think it was a bad idea, but that's just me. Uh, I can't really think of anything else. And if if you see a blue thing coming off of me, it's the light from my uh, my uh, new speakers. So it's got this big blue blue light on it. I'm trying to figure out how to cover up. So other than that, cool figure. Pick it up if you can find it. Should be out everywhere now. This is Titan Zed saying, I will see you when I see you.